today's tough question in response to those diamond balls that are going on to the College World Series. Pretty cool. Good for those cats. Today's tough question. Take a side. Take a stand. The Dave Hooker Show, a presentation of offthehooksports.com. Yes, Caleb looks like Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden. A younger, thinner-faced Bruce Dickinson. I'm just a teenage dirtbag. Anybody yes. remember that? No. My wife loves, uh, she finds three redheaded uh, men uh, very attractive. One is Willie Nelson. The other is Axl Rose. And the third is me. So that's pretty good company. What about that, Caleb? That's great company. That is really good company. <laughs> but is it Axl Rose from the 80s or Axl Rose now? No, it's not throw mama from the train, Axl Rose, that's <laughs> rocking it now with Slash. I almost bought those tickets, Caleb. You'll be proud of me. I backed out. I had the trip to L.A. planned. It was Guns N' Roses, ACD, ACDC, uh, and Metallica, the power trip. So I passed on it one weekend. I was close, but Guns N' Roses looks horrible. Is this the best season for Tennessee athletics in its history? I'm going to start by going to Caleb Calhoun, who is our resident historian, and he could offer some perspective. My first initial retort at our 3.15 a.m. production meeting was that I got to go 98 balls, right? Because the football balls are going to trump everything. They won a national championship 98 to 99. The basketball team was very good, but they were disappointed against Delaware and then Southwest Missouri State that season. And then the Lady Vols, despite not winning a championship, had one of the best teams of all time. They had an injury-riddled season in 98-99. If they're healthy, they win it. Honestly, I would have to double-check to see what the baseball team that did that year, but I don't think they made the College World Series, uh, and they didn't even they didn't make the playoffs, did they? So they kind of stumbled through at about 31-20, and 20, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they were very mediocre. That was, uh, I believe that was Chris Burke's freshman year. Um, okay. Maybe it was his sophomore year. But, yeah, they didn't do anything special that year. And Tennessee softball, I think, I don't know if Tennessee softball had started yet. I think that sport began in 1999, um, which I guess theoretically would be the same year. So maybe it did. But either way, that that the sport was just getting off the ground. So, yeah. Okay, so 1999, Tennessee baseball went. 28 and 28 remember the 98 national championship team would be the same academic year as the 99 baseball team not the 98 baseball team right yeah so we're going 98 99 fiscal year i can't get past the national championship tennessee football team so like if everybody else didn't win a game yes i think you've got a strong argument to me though Football is so big. Is it 90%? Is it 95%? Is it 80%? Whatever. Let's argue it. But it's the vast majority. I can't get past 98, 99, to be real honest with you, to answer today's tough question. But maybe I'm making it too simplistic. What say you, Caleb Calhoun? No, you are right. If there's anything – I mean, I, I'm football is so important. It matters the most. I'm with you. I tried to make a case for 1950, 1951. Because that year, Tennessee won the national championship in football. That was the first of back-to-back -back national titles in football. And they made the College World Series in basketball, in baseball, excuse me. But in basketball, they went 10 and 13. And there were no women's sports during that time. So we have to go back to, you're right, 98-99 is the strongest case. Because not just football. Dave, you and I agree that football is the engine of 80 to 90%. But the other, like... 10 to 13 percent to get to 98 or 99 percent is on the hardwood it's on basketball and women's basketball and then you talk baseball and softball but like that football basketball and then women's bat football up here basketball women's basketball here and then the diamond goes below all it goes below that Agreed. And if the Lady Vols didn't become what the Lady Vols became in the 80s and 90s, then I could roll with you in the 51 season or maybe any other season. If they were just an average women's basketball program, which most are, right? Uh, but yeah, but they became the greatest women's basketball program of all time in their era. So I can't just discount that as 
you didn't have women's sports back then, so we'll give you a pass. I mean, that that was huge for the for the athletic department, not just for the lady balls. I mean, that to be one of the greatest ever in your sports, pretty monstrous. Yeah, the, the the Lady Vols built themselves a brand and a culture that they took pride in to a real, I mean, again, they're, I've talked about this before, the ty- the Lady Vol fan base is not the same as other Tennessee sports fan bases. There's a very distinct demographic that is very prideful over what the university built that goes back to the fact that, to their credit, the University of Tennessee was the first school in the South to embrace Title IX, just fully embrace it in the 1970s. And they earned a lot of, they got a lot of credit for that. And they deserve a lot of credit for that. Okay. So Caleb, what would it take for me to take an, a, a football national championship out of the equation? So let's say this upcoming impossible. season, it's impossible. I know. Let's say though, for instance, this upcoming season, Tennessee plays for a national title. They make the final four and both basketball teams, lady balls and the men, and they win the College World Series in the upcoming 2023-24. Would that supersede 98? You're playing for a national title. You're not winning it, Caleb. Would that supersede 98? I'm trying to come up with a backdrop that you would remove that national title for football. I can't come Okay. Up. Uh, do they get an SEC title? Oh, so they do they win in Atlanta? Yes, do they win in Atlanta? Because in many ways, that's I mean, the it's not gonna be this way in 2024 once you go to 12 teams and the SEC gets so huge. But right now, the winning the SEC title is just barely a step below the national title. I mean, in some cases it's harder if you ask me to win the SEC than the national title. So I, I think if you can get that SEC title this year. And then you're right. They go. They they win the College World Series. They go to the Final Four in men's or women's basketball, but go to the Sweet Sixteen at least in both. Make the College World Series in softball. I mean, Dave, that might that might do it. Okay, so we can't. We're, we're not taking this season twenty two twenty three and knocking ninety eight ninety nine off the pedestal. And let's talk about why for a second because. This is the first time since 1998 to have a Tennessee football team in a New Year's Six Bowl, men's and women's basketball in a Sweet 16, and baseball and softball, which I haven't mentioned softball, my apologies, in the College World Series. That's an incredible, what, six, Pete? One, two, three, four, five, no, five. That's an incredible quintuplet of achievements. That, to me, is, is beyond the standard. So kudos to Danny White. I mean, the standard to me from now on and with what Tennessee has in terms of resources is making the college football playoff each and every year, is making the NCAA tournament in basketball, men and women, and making the college World Series or at least the playoffs in baseball and softball. So if your average year, what you should expect is – what I laid out and that's making the postseason in all of the above. They have gone way beyond that. So you have to give kudos to Danny white and all the coaches and players that were on campus. It's been a heck of a year, no matter what happens in Omaha. Yeah. We got to give credit to a lot of different people who made this happen. I mean, so the, the five sports I named baseball, basketball, football, softball, women's basketball, all had a different athletic director hire the coach in the sport. Danny White, that just shows the tumultuous time Tennessee's gone through the past decade. But Danny White hired Josh Heupel. Dave Hart hired Rick Barnes. Fulmer hired Kelly uh, Kelly Harper. John Curry hired Tony Vitello. And Doug Dickey hired Karen Weekly 20-some-odd years ago with with Ralph Weekly during that time. So we're talking a bunch of different sports that were hired by a bunch of different athletic directors. And you got to, they all failed in so many miserable ways, but they all at least got one higher right, it looks like. Although the basketball ones, there is a debate if Tennessee can do better in women, men's women's basketball, but you, but the success is still there. And So if you're Danny White, scale of 1 to 10, what is your argument for a significant raise? You saved the football program. You don't need another argument. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly where I was going to go. So you can tell me that, 
if if I'm in front of the board of directors and I'm trying to go out there and get my raise, you can tell me that this guy and that guy hired that coach and that coach, but I saved the football program. And I think he's laid a groundwork where Tony Vitello wants to stay, correct? Oh, I agree. He has. I, I don't think Tony Vitello has any desire. I, I would guess if Arkansas comes calling because he went to Arkansas, that might be up for debate. But I think – you go where your resources are. And you're, I think Tennessee has such strong resources. I think it's a better job than Arkansas in baseball. Yep, I agree. Uh, today's tough question brought to you by our friends at Zen Sports. They're our new gambling partner. Check them out. They've got the cash back rewards. Earn 5% cash back on your bets for the first 15 days of betting on Zen Sports. That bonus is uncapped if you use the referral code HOOKED. HOOKED. H-O-O-K-E-D. And it's an easy to use sports book. You can search and sort bets very easily. We love them. They've got the peer to peer, peer to peer betting coming very soon. So uh, check them out. Betting just got better. You can take control of your bets and the money you bet with. Check out Zen Sports again. Use that promo code hooked that promo code hook gambling problem call 1-800-889-9789 terms and conditions apply must be 21 and in tennessee to bet 